G'day everyone. I have been inundated by mail this month. I have got so many parcels to open up. This is my September monthly mail time video. Yeah, before I start, a couple of things. First of all, check out my glasses. Look how they don't fold up very well. See that? I sat on them. <laughs> I put them down on a chair, done something, then sat on the chair. What's that underneath me? And it's my glasses. They're all bent. But I think they, uh, they still work. Now, it's very, very windy today. There probably will be some kind of wind noise at some stage. It's so windy that I've had to go. I'm in a public uh, picnic ground here in the Warby Ranges. I actually filmed a video here recently about my trout fishing lures, and I chose this spot to get out of the wind that day as well. You can see the uh, campfire area, <coughs> area there behind me. It's so windy that I've had to go and get a big log from beside that fire and sit it on the table here and I've got my bag with all my mail in it under the log. Normally I hold it up and show you, but I've sort of got it weighted down with a log from the fire there. And my camera bag is wrapped around that log as well in case we get a big gust. Anyway, I've got seven parcels to open up. I better get started. All right, this one is from Mark Fogarty. I've got to be really careful where I put my... Uh, my rubbish today because there is going to be a couple of gusts of wind. Hi Robbie, love your videos mate. You have inspired me, inspired my brother and I to get back into bait fishing when we are at camp between lure fishing for bass. I have been, I have included a photo of my brother Paul with a huge mud marlin he caught at the recent bass comp, bass camp. Keep up the great work mate, thanks Mark Fogarty. Right. So Mark says I've inspired him to do a bit of bait fishing in between lure fishing. That makes me happy because I love bait fishing. We live in a world where fishing is dominated by lures and I just love nothing better than getting back to basics. Bait six. How good is that? That's a monster. Awesome work. I love carp fishing. Lately I've been really hooked on fishing for carp in lagoons around town here. They're drying up, they're getting low and I've been catching big carp like that. That's awesome. Well done, Mark, and thank you so much for the, the letter. This one's from Dan Bergen. Right. Dear Robbie, it's been a while since I've dropped you a line. My sincerest condolences for the passing of your beloved dog, who I believe may have been Jaffa. It was Jaffa, and thank you so much, uh, Dan. She was a beautiful girl. I still miss my two dogs. I My two dogs... I had some years ago, Goldie and Angie. They were both phenomenal dogs. Anyway, enough from me from now. We'll keep in touch, Dan Bergen. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm gonna to have to sort of speed that up a little bit when I read it because I was, uh, I tripped over my tongue a few times, but folks, Dan has written to me to say, yeah, pass on his most sincere condolences on the passing of my beautiful dog Jaffa. Jaffa was a beautiful dog and it was very hard to let her go, but whenever we take on a pet, that's part of the responsibility is that one day we're going to have to say goodbye. So thank, thank you so much for your kind, kind words, Dan. And uh, from one dog lover to another, if you get another dog like you're thinking about, I can guarantee that you'll love her a lot. You've got a big heart, Dan. I've spoken to Dan on the phone and he's a good man. Thank you so much, Dan. This is from Matt and Zepp Allen. Now, I haven't opened it. I haven't opened it. I don't know whether I should... I reckon it's going to be a pink t-shirt. Happy birthday. My birthday's in July. Right. I could be wrong. Let's have a look. Hey, Robbie. Hey, mate. I hope you're well. Sorry I've not written in a while, but high school life has me pretty busy nowadays. But I promise I still watch every video with my dad. Can you please say say hello to Holly, Loretta and Sky for me? Hope they're all well. Sky's just sitting in a car down there waiting for me. Anyway, happy belated birthday. I hope you like the present we have got you. We need to catch up soon, not only for fishing. This is your official call out chopper. Enjoy your present, Matt and Zepp Allen. Thank you so much, Matt and Zepp Allen. We do need to catch up. We've been talking about it for too, too long. I love you guys and I look forward to catching up with you again, whether it's fishing or playing golf or just meeting in the middle and having lunch somewhere at Omeo or something, but we'll have to sort something out. Right, let's have a look and see what's in this, this parcel. 
feel free to walk behind me if you like. I'm just doing a bit of filming here. You'll just be in the background. <laughs> no, 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 be sorry. I just look like a weirdo sitting here yelling at a camera. <laughs> right, what is in this parcel? I guessed, oh, I didn't guess it. <laughs> it's a driver cover for my golf sticks. I do play a little bit of golf and I'm not very good at it. When I got this, I said, I rang Matt and I said, I reckon I know what it is. I reckon it's a Ron Chopper shirt, but it's not, it's a Ron Chopper driving cover. And uh, it goes on top of the driver when I'm playing golf. We need to catch up and play golf. Guys, if you play golf or you like golf, check out Ron Chopper Golf or Ron Chopper on YouTube. I love the Ron Chopper channel. He's such a character and such a legend. And that is so awesome. That's going on my driver. Now, I'm not sure whether I've told you this or not, but three golf clubs walked into a bar. The first one says, I'll have a beer, please, on the 7 iron. The second one says, I'll have a vodka and martini, please, on the putter. The third one says, you better make mine a Diet Coke. I'm the driver. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got a little Ron Chopper marker, ball marker as well here. I can put that on the ground and uh, so that I can wipe my ball and clean it before I putt it and then put it back down. Matt and Zepp, you guys are legends. I love this. This is going straight on my driver as soon as I get home. I can't wait to play golf with my pastor from my church, Danny. Pastor Danny's a keen golfer. He's my golfing partner and we play together occasionally and I've got him watching Ron Chopper. And now, uh, now I can, I'm going to use this for good luck. Thank you so much. I haven't played golf for a while because my back has been quite sore lately, but it's starting to get better now, and I reckon I'm only a week or two away from having a hit off. I have been out to the driving range and had a couple of practice swings, so I'm getting closer. Right, three down, four to go. This one's from Doug Petty. I reckon this will be floats. Doug Petty, Doug is the guy that makes the Punchmaster 2000 floats. I've used them in a couple of my videos. They are awesome floats. And I love float fishing. Okay, I don't want to rip that because uh, last time Doug sent me something with writing on it, it was a very, uh, a very funny drawing. Those kids had remote control cars in the background. <coughs> Doug, I'm sorry if I had to rip it a little bit, but it's uh, the sticky tape that you put on the end was really sticky, really, really, really sticky, sticky, sticky tape. What have we got here? Yum yum. See Captain Frank for how to use. Fill with damp breadcrumbs for carp or worm compost for redfin. Please read the instructions this time, Robbie. <laughs> Real men don't need instructions. Doug is a legend. This is Doug Petty. We've got a uh, we've got a redfin. We've got a worm. Uh, it's probably a Jan Juck. Actually, no. When Frank goes fish, when Captain Frank 01 on one of his YouTube videos. If you haven't seen Captain Frank 01, check out his YouTube channel. He had a bucket of worms and there was a label on the top and they were called Not Jan Juck Worms. <laughs> so that's probably a Not Jan Juck Worm. And now I reckon, sorry about the wind's making this a bit tricky, but we can see a fish, a worm with a worried look on his face, a bait holder, a burly, a burly cage here, and uh, some instructions. So. I came to this spot to get out of the wind, but kid you not, in town today, the wind is horrific. Every day lately, it's blowing a gale. Doug has sent me these burly cages like that. You put burly in them and you cast them out near your bait. So if you're carp fishing, you might fill it with bread, cast it out and just have your bait just near it. The carp will hone in because it's so much bread and I might just grab the bit that's got your hook in it. I've got to work out exactly how to use them, but that's a basic overview of what they are. Awesome. Thank you so much, Doug. I'm really looking forward to using these, especially in some of my carp fishing lagoons. I've love. I've been really enjoying fishing for carp in lagoons lately, and I'm really looking forward to using them. Thank you so much, Doug, and I apologise if nobody heard a single word of that because Cyclone Tracy came through while I was trying to talk. Right. This one's from Jamie Byrne. Jamie Burney. Bit of a bit of a marathon effort. This one there were seven parcels. Actually, I just realised. 
there was a parcel at my post office this morning. The cutoff is the 15th of each month. I can't get into this. The cutoff is the 15th of each month. After the 15th, anything that comes after the 15th will go into next month. Today is the 16th. Now there was something, there is something in my post office. I got the notification on the way out here today. I meant to stop there and grab it and I forgot. So if you have just in the last week sent me something and it's not in this month month's mail time, it will be in next month's. It might not even be a mail time thing, it could be something else, but I suspect it's a mail time uh, parcel. Right. G'day Robbie, hope this finds you well. I've been enjoying your vids, especially the crayfishing ones. They bring back a lot of great memories of my younger years while growing up in Victoria. No video game back then, just hunting, fishing and camping, and I guess I I guess if you count looking at the bush TV, the campfire, screen time, it would be too much screen time. I know it is coming up the trout season and things are going to hot up very soon. A few months back I sent you some cod flies I had tied, although I now live in north in the north of Western Australia, I still tie trout flies. And as I have been filling up my own box, I tied a few extra ones each time. Soon they add up. Hopefully you can catch a fish or two with these. Please let me know if you do. Keep up the great content for us. Not so lucky to be able to get out there ourselves. Yours faithfully, Jamie Burney, far, <clears throat> far north Western Australia. Thank you so much, Jamie. Jamie's uh, tied his own flies and he's tied a, a few spare ones for me. Before I open them, I've just got to tell you, the trout fishing so far this season has been terrible. It is absolutely horrible. There are many disgruntled anglers now here in North East Victoria that are wasting money on fuel, driving around, trying to catch fish that just aren't there. There's a number of things in, in play here. One of, the, uh, one of the thoughts is that the last few years were very wet. In those wet years, lots of swamps filled up with water and lagoons and wetlands, and that led to excessive breeding of uh, water birds such as cormorants. Now that those uh, wetlands have all dried up, well the cormorants still need to eat. They've gone into the trout streams and looking for trout and they've, uh, they've wiped a lot of them out. And that's one of the problems. Another problem is that there's no fish stocking to replace those fish. So those fish are on their own now and who knows how many years it will take for them to bounce back. Unlike yellow belly and Murray cod and stuff that get stocked all around the place, no trout ever get stocked into streams in this area. They get a, a couple of the lakes get, get, get a lot of trout, but the streams miss out completely. And uh, now that they've been obliterated by the cormorants, it's, uh, it's going to take a very long time for them to bounce back. So I'm not sure what the uh, immediate future of trout fishing looks like for me. But keep your eye on my trout fishing, on my videos. I will be trout fishing and I will be fly fishing as soon as the weather starts to warm up a little bit. I love the box. It's a magnetic box. Sorry, I've just got a loose one here that I'm going to fix up. Jamie has tied me. You can see there are a whole different array of... They have flies, there's some dry flies and some nymphs. They look unreal. I'm trying to face the sun so you can see the colours. <laughs> Jamie, that is so awesome. Thank you so much for all these flies. And like I said, keep your eye out for some fly fishing videos. Probably a little bit later in spring. Hopefully we can find some trout to catch with them. Hopefully things turn around a little bit. Right, the last two. These two came in the last, uh, just in the last few days. Now. This one is from Steve Boyd. Steve Boyd. Oh, didn't bring a knife or anything with me to open it with. Got me keys, but they're way down there in the car. <laughs> I'm in. Ooh. I'm in and I almost got a hook in my finger. <laughs> I ripped into it and there's a hook right there. Robbie, I have enjoyed your videos for a while now and I see you like fishing for redfin. I started making my own ready lures a while back. They are simple and easy to use and make and have the required red tail. They have been successful from day one. So in appreciation of your entertaining, of you entertaining me, I am sending you a couple of my lures to try and I hope they entertain you as well. Steve. Thank you so much, Steve. Let's uh, put that in there so the wind doesn't blow them. I'm just managing stuff around the wind here. So Steve Boyd has been making these, they're a bit like the old on-deck spinners, but they're handmade, they're hammered with a real heavy blade. I'm looking forward to trying these. I really am looking forward to trying them. Redfin love shiny spinners, and they love spinners with a bit of a uh, with a bit of red on the end of the hooks. They look awesome, Steve. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending these, and I'm looking forward to giving them a swim probably a little bit later when the weather warms up and there's a few redfin on the move. Awesome. Now, last but not least, this one's from Heath Thompson. 
Heath commented the other day and said, I hope my mail gets there in time for the cutoff. That did the Heath that got here on Friday, I think. Alright. We've got envelopes in envelopes. So that one's empty. We've got a letter here. Let's have a look at Heath's letter. G'day Robbie, my name is Heath Thompson. I am 12 years old and I live in the, in Hay, New South Wales in the Riverina region. I love the Riverina. I've got quite a lot of videos filmed out in the Riverina. I absolutely love your videos. My biggest cod I've ever caught, we estimated it to be 80 to 100 centimetres. Wow, what a ripper. As we didn't have a brag mat, I do have a photo I'll have to send you a different day when I find it. I was wondering if you could start making videos just about your photography. I absolutely love it. I was going to send some photos I took with my Nikon D80 and 300mm lens, but the laptop wouldn't connect to the printer. I don't know if you like pig hunting, but I put a photo of my very pig, a very pig which I got in Wilcania in the package. I have left you a surprise from when me and my family went opal hunting in White Cliffs. Love your videos from Heath. That's so nice. Thank you so much, Heath. I've never actually been pig hunting. We do get wild pigs around here. I let my gun license expire years ago, so I haven't. Um, I, I don't actually go hunting. And back then, we had deer, and I've shot a few deer, but I used to shoot mainly foxes and rabbits and stuff. And I never got into pig hunting. Wow, Heath, that's uh, that's unreal. I've just got to be a little bit careful showing this. I put my hand over there where the blood is. I put my hand over that corner and hopefully people won't see blood. And then I won't get... YouTube doesn't like blood and there's a bit of blood in the corner there. So that is unreal, Heath. Well done. That blood might not even be blood. That might even be a white rock. I don't know. A red rock. I don't know, but it looks like blood. Well done, Heath. That looks awesome. I've never been to Wilcania. I'd love to go to Wilcania one day. I love outback. I love that outback area. That's why I love the Riverina. It's, it's drier and warmer, and the reptile life is awesome. Right, we've got in here. We've got an array. Because of the wind, I won't take them out individually, and because it'll take ages. But there's an array of different soft plastics in there. We've got some twin tails, some paddle tails, some creature baits. That is unreal. Awesome. G'day Robbie, it's Heath again. I've got some soft plastic for you. I was wondering, I was going to buy you some, but I didn't have the money. They work great as I've caught a heap of carp on them. I assume they'll catch redfin too. Make sure you make a video of you using them. Enjoy, Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger. Heath Thompson, I called you Heath Ledger. He was an actor. <laughs> Thank you so much, Heath. And look, please, Heath, and anybody else watching you, there's no need to spend any money on me. I've got sponsors that send me all kinds of gear. I've got heaps of fishing gear. Just your kind words and a letter is more than enough. And they do look awesome. Absolutely awesome. But I am just busting to see what is in this little weenie package here. Look at that rock. I don't know whether the camera, if I block my face, it might focus on it. Hopefully that's in focus. I don't know if that's an opal or some kind of an opal. I'll have a really good look when I get home. But it's a very nice rock from Whitecliffs. It's got a bit of blue in it. It's got all kinds of colours in it. Heath, that is awesome. Does that work? Can you see that? Is that working? I'm just blocking my face. If I show my face, it's going to try and focus on my eyes. So I've got to block my face. That looks really cool, Heath. I love it. Well, that was a marathon mail time. And what that means is that I've been spoilt rotten. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for sending in my mail. And to everybody else, thank you all very, very much for watching.